Okay, and we are back with Community Connection right here in studio, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. The Indiana Fever's newest head coach, Mary Ann Stanley, and the Fever's recently appointed general manager, Tamika Catchings, are wasting little time getting to work especially Catchings, who famously led her Fever team for more than a decade. She's now running it from the front office. For both of us, it's beyond just winning. It's about, you know, being a winner, having a winner mentality in the community, on the floor, you know, just being the best person you can be, being the best player you can be, just looking at it from the winning side. For both, winning seems to be second nature. Their outstanding resumes are pages long. Catchings, an all-time great, clearly one of the greatest ever, led the Fever to their first WNBA championship. Stanley, a former Coach of the Year, most recently was the assistant head coach for the 2019 WNBA champion, Washington Mystics. Stanley takes over a Fever team that has posted three consecutive losing seasons. During a recent visit to my radio show, Community Connection on AM 1310 The Light and 92.7 FM, both basketball legends stated their goal is not to rebuild the Indiana Fever. They say the nucleus is already there. Their eyes are fixed on a playoff, even championship team, right out of the gate. Having won a championship, you know, they have that taste. They know what it's like, and they want that. It felt that. good. And, you know, and, of course, once you understand what it is, you know, yeah. why do you ever want to settle for second best? And everybody looks at me, oh, you got the title of a GM. This is the, like we are working together. As a player, I was very into teamwork and working together and, Everybody bringing their best skill set to the table, and it's the same thing here. High expectations, a new culture, and a winning mentality taking root right away. The playoffs, possibly even a WNBA championship in 2020. For some, it would naturally be a tall order, not to mention a lot of pressure. But Stanley and Catching say they don't look at it as pressure, just a great opportunity for the Indiana Fever to start winning again. I think I, I expect a lot for myself. Okay. And as a player, you expect a lot from yourself. As in any position that you're in, you expect a lot of yourself. Basketball has been it. So mm -hmm. I've devoted my life to it, and, and it's always challenging. I'm a student of the game myself. I continue to want to learn and grow. And when I think when you have that mindset, it's fun to share that. And if you have any doubt that either of these fearless winners are anything but serious, after literally just a few weeks on the job, consider how fully they've already embraced their new roles. I have a saying that, you know, you don't get paid by the dribble, so let's quit dribbling the ball and move it and share it and let's score. And one thing that I know is I'm committed to this team. I'm committed to our organization. I'm committed to coach and our coaching staff when we get everybody lined in. I mean, I want to make sure they have everything they need to be successful. And the same thing, like I'm, I don't feel pressure from anybody else. I think the pressure I've already put on myself. Finally, another new start for the team, Butler University's Hinkle Fieldhouse. The Fever will play their next two seasons at Hinkle while renovations are underway at Bankers Life. For Great Day TV, I'm Tina Cosby.